Dude, this thing's packed. I still got more coral to put in here. How is this? What am I gonna do? some sweet candy right there guys so you're at this coral show and there's a ton of candy just begging you to take them home only for you to realize as you're handing the cash over for this coral that you have to get on an airplane to get back home so what do you do well guys you buy the coral that's what you do that's what you do you buy the coral and everything in this video that I'm about to go over is gonna be teaching you how to safely pack them and how to safely carry them on and get through customs or uh, TSA. Ah. Ah. Regain control. Regain control. Oh, got a bit squirrely on us there, guys. Okay, well, you buy the coral, guys. You buy the coral. Oh, and hey, guys, real quick. If you want to support this channel, you can do that by subscribing, liking this video, and hitting that bell notification so that you know every time that I upload. So this was the very first attempt from Reefa Palooza Orlando, my very first show and my very first time traveling with coral and picking up coral even from a show. And I'm traveling all the way back to Alaska from Orlando. So as you can see, I was mesmerized by all of the uh, eye candy that you could see everywhere in this show. And I just, I load it up and that's probably where I went wrong was loading it up all into the same container, especially with SPS. Uh, but they look so good in here. Nothing could go wrong, right? Oh boy, was I wrong. I was so wrong. First off, I packed this thing wrong what i should have not done was put a heat pack in there i even wrapped it up in the paper towel or tissue and taped it to the inside of the lid like as if i was shipping coral but that's not what you do especially in an insulated uh lunch box that i picked up at the walmart there for like six bucks you don't need any any type of heat especially when you're carrying it on with you just leave them in their body of water, which will insulate them enough. Keep them sealed in that cooler or lunchbox, and they will be happy. Oh, I was so wrong. So here I am sitting in the airport, just looking and staring and watching my coral die right before my eyes. Just money burning up, just like that. And a good buddy of mine and a fellow reefer and YouTuber gabe's reef tampa reached out and was like hey man i was there at rap with you and if you got a goodie bag then they have the kimmy pier blue in there toss it in there and see if you can at least try and save them so that's what i did it was worth a shot You guys, I got some good stuff. Got some good stuff. The uh, cooler is full. There is stuff all in here. It was really hard to close it. Can't wait to show you. Before we dive into what I got from Alaska Coral and Fish, because I know I haven't showed you yet, I want to talk about TSA and the procedures that you should do when you're going through TSA. First off, be kind, be courteous, be super respectful, and make sure you tell them that you want the bag or lunchbox hand checked. Don't put it through the x-ray machine, especially if it's live fish and coral. It's just, I don't, it's x-ray, all right? It's not good for them. So make sure you tell them you want it hand checked. Sometimes they don't know uh, what's going on. I know at Orlando, they weren't very sure. I think it was their first time doing that. So they gave it a full pat down. They took all the contents out. They opened up the container and they didn't put a test strip inside of the container but they hovered it over the container for tests for fumes or anything you know anything that's other than water which the results came back as water and once again i can't stress enough how respectful you need to be make sure you're calm collect because it ultimately it's it lies within the the tsa agent's decision on to let you bring your fish or coral onto the plane with you or not. It's their decision ultimately 
I'll even show here on their TSA website where it shows that you can do this. But at the very bottom, it does say that it's up to their discretion, bottom line, bottom story. So be nice and be gentle. So I wasn't able to get any TSA footage. I did ask and they weren't too comfortable with it. So I didn't record obviously just complying with what they wanted. Ultimately, it does rely on the TSA agent, as I said before, but depending on how the inspection goes, depends on the agent. So the first time they gave the gave it a pat down, a full pat down, they took it apart. Uh, they took the liner out and everything to make sure nothing was hide, hiding in there. The second go around when going through Anchorage, going to Fairbanks, it was a little bit more lenient. He just did a slight check he did pat down the box, the lunch box, but with the bags and everything, he just had me lift them up and he just took a peek in there. So it all depends on, on the agent. And the third time, this guy did a super thorough check. He ran everything through the machines. He even gave me a, a swab and a pat down. I had my hand swabbed just to make sure that I didn't have any type of alarming residual on my hands. So ultimately, be nice. Be kind, be friendly, have a conversation, and you'll get through okay. What I'm about to put on the screen right now is taken directly from the TSA website, and I'll also link it down in the description below so that you can find it yourself and read up on it. Okay, long story short, I picked up a pair of these long fin clownfish from Alaska Coral and Fish, and a bubble tip anemone, and put them on the plane with me, and brought him home. All right, guys, we're gonna try this again. Reef of Palooza, New York. And of course, I bought coral and stuff, a whole lot of them. <laughs> but it's gonna be awesome. Um, this time, I'm gonna do it differently. I was given this container for this uh, purple uh, capping sponge, so I'm going to well, put it in this container because this one doesn't have a screw on lid. Let's do this nice and easy. Nice and easy. I can open it. I can push it in. Okay, let's do this. Nice and easy, like surgery. I think it's pretty cool that this is a sponge and it plates out or caps out whatever you want to call it so that's pretty cool all right I'm gonna screw that on real tight put it in and we're handy dandy lunch box oh man I really hope all the coral that I got fits in here <laughs> Shirts, more merch, towel, ah, Elo's cup. Now we get into the bags. It's heavy. All right, cool. Let's get this. What, dude? Can you guys see these polyps? I really hope it it makes it. This is a uh, cherry bomb. Mm-hmm, look at those polyps, guys. Amazing. Put it on the side like that. That looks like it'll be all right. It should be okay. Some more echoes. Lots of sticks, because you know me. Sticks are my weakness. Let's see how this goes. Um, oh, that's not good. The clam, the clam bag has an air leak in it. Hmm. And then this is a rainbow bubble tip. It's gonna be really nice in the bio cube. <laughs> Dude, this thing's packed. I still got more coral to put in here. How is this? What am I gonna do? <laughs> These corals are from the Duke. 
I think that's it. That's all we got. Got some snacks. So yeah, this bag is from James or Duke of Coral on Instagram. If you know him, so give him a follow. He's got a big old SPS tank and I've been after his corals or a frag of his corals for so long. And finally I'm in his territory and I was like, yo, hook me up with the frag pack. And he did. He's hooking me up, guys. Let's see what happens. I don't know about this clam package. I need to repack that clam somehow. More in here. There's more. Why is there more? <laughs> oh, you guys. I got coral. I'm pretty happy. I've got lots of cool coral from lots of cool people, lots of cool vendors. I think this is that pinky and the bear one. Pinky and the bear! It's got some really good colors on this one too. Oh man, it's gonna be great. Well, those fit. Let's see about, I'm about to repackage this clam. Okay guys, so I was able to da -da -da -da, tie it off and there's some air still in here. Um, hopefully it's enough and the clam survives, but it'll probably just need a nice long drip once I get home. Well, next stop is fitting this all in here, get the clam in here, safely shut it, get through TSA, get it on the airplane and fly home. Easy enough, right? Let's go. All right, guys. Just got through TSA. Uh, they did a third check on the corals, but packages secured. They did a full swab. They did a pat down of the lunchbox and everything inside. He swabbed every single container that a coral was in, and then I even had my hand swabbed. Uh, you know, just safety precautions. Uh, he was saying that if it wasn't uh, you know, COVID times, then they would do a full body pat down check. Um, either way, I was compliant. Just be nice, uh, be respectful, and you'll get your corals through TSA. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to record while he was doing it, wasn't allowed but got the corals we're in we're in the terminal it's it's go time guys good let's get them home another great thing is that when they were pulling the corals out it they looked great they were still healthy there's no heat pack in here uh, last time when I went through TSA that's when I noticed the bad cloudy water and the corals and everything that's where the decline started and they were dying. Um, this time it's looking a lot more promising. Awesome. Let's go and get these home dipped and into the tank. All right, you guys just got home. It is, what time is it? Six o'clock in the uh, evening. Uh, so let's see, it's our first look. I haven't looked in here in a while. Uh, last I did was like maybe three hours ago. It's a bag. Uh, oh, so far everything looks great. Got the clam in this bag. We'll look at that here in a minute. But the SPS, they look like they're uh, doing okay. Uh, I see polyps out. I don't know if you can see that. There's polyps coming out already on the SPS. Let's see if I can get a better look. Cat's meowing at me. She's like, where have you been? Yeah, they're looking good. They're looking great. Let's see what we got here. Well, it looks like it's not peeling or anything. It just looks like it had some uh, some under light growth. But yeah, look, polyps out and everything. So that's good. That one's good. This one's good. This one's looking good.
Very nice, guys. This time, I did not use any heat pack or anything. Just kept this closed best I could and peeked in on it when I needed to. Look at that. Look at those polyps out on that one. They're doing good. Doing great. The rainbow nim. This one looks good too. Oh, so this is where the water was coming from. It was leaking. Yep, it's already the foot's on the bag, so that's good. It's, it's healthy. Cool. Got that one from Mod Corals. There's some more SPS. Nice clean water. Very nice, guys. So the moral of the story is when you're flying with coral, you don't need heat packs in something like this. This one's pretty cool, that plating sponge. I think we lost some water with the cabin pressure and everything in this bucket. But yeah, overall, overall no, uh, no losses, that's good. It's great. Now it's time to float, dip, get them in the tank. Hey guys, just wanna say thank you for watching all the way through if you did. And if you're seeing this, thank you so much. I appreciate each and every single one of you that's watching this. And especially to my returning subscribers, you guys are so awesome. And if you're new, stick around, watch some videos, see if you can learn something from my mistakes. There's a lot of those videos where everybody's been learning from my mistakes and things of what not to do. So if you have ever flown with coral like I have, was it successful? Or was it like my first time where it was a total loss? Let me know down below in the comments. I like to hear people's stories and how you travel with coral. By watching this video, you learn how to safely pack them and take them on the airplane with you. And that includes getting through TSA and getting their overall approval. Um, I do know that if you have cell phone service, you can pull up that regulation on their website or you can have it printed out. I also had it printed out just in case. Uh, it's always good to be safe than sorry. Well guys, I'll do it for this video. And remember, just reef.